Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Real quick, if you are new and you do enjoy this video and or find it helpful, make sure to go ahead and leave a like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe so you do not miss out on any more of my Battlefield 5 content. Uh, and so that you help us reach 1,000 subscribers. We are 129 subs away from 1,000. Uh, and it would be a dream to hit it before Christmas, on Christmas, or just before 2018 is over in general. That would be amazing. That would be my goal. But yeah, if you can just hit that sub button, you would help out a lot. And I would really, really appreciate that. But getting straight into today's video. By the title of this video, I don't even know what I'm going to title it. But I'm going to be explaining how the Tides of War progression system is going to work. So if you're on console, PlayStation 4 and Xbox 3... Not Xbox 360. If you're on Xbox One... Uh, I think for Xbox, it's the options button or the select button, but on PlayStation, you just press the touchpad and this menu comes up. It says chapter rewards. The only, th the simplest way I can go ahead about explaining the chapter rewards menu is by comparing it to Fortnite's battle pass system. If you ever played Fortnite battle pass, you buy the battle pass, you see that you go from level zero all the way to level hundred. Every level is going to unlock a new item. That's exactly what's going on here, except it's only from level 1 or 0 all the way to level 20. Now, this is going to last 20 days. Two days have already passed um, since this came out, and I'm just now doing it because I didn't really understand it, but now I do. So as you can see in the top right-hand corner, it says how many days are left and how many days you have left to be able to unlock all these items. And the way you unlock all these items is by getting chapter rewards xp and the way that you get chapter reward xp is not by clicking multiplayer and going into a round of conquest grands operations or domination you have to go on to tides of war there when you go on to tides of war you're going to see that for this specific week you have these assignments and these assignments are going to give you not only xp so as you can see they're 14,000 xp 7,000 XP, um, 30,000 XP, and then you're going to unlock a weapon. Uh, you can choose which path you want to go. If you want to go the top path, which is easy, the middle path, which is like normal, and then the bottom path, which is kind of on the more difficult side. Uh, and then you end up here at the end, you have to do this assignment. You can choose to do this one, which gives you a bunch of XP. And then you have to do the final one before unlocking the final weapon. So once this week is over and you completed this, you don't have to complete these. But if you completed like one or two, you are going to get the XP. You just will not unlock the weapon. But once December 5th all the way to December 12th is, is through the next week's assignments are going to unlock. And as you can see, again, um, in my opinion, this is a very poor way and confusing way of doing this, showing this assignment tree. I think a lot of people are gonna get confused and a lot of people will not understand what's going on. But yeah, uh, and then at the end of the week, you unlocked, you unlock this, you know, this helmet. But again, it's exactly the same. It works exactly the same as the previous week. Then once this week is over, you get this, uh, the third week's assignments, and then you're able to unlock another weapon. Then after the third week is over, you get the fourth week, and then you're able to unlock another weapon. But you have to choose either the top, bottom, or middle section of assignments uh, that you're going to do. And that's basically it. And then with that XP that you get, you're going to go up in level in the chapter rewards system. You know, level 9 all the way up to level 20. So hopefully that explained it and you guys understand what I'm trying to say and how this works. If you have any questions, which I know a bunch of you guys will, make sure to leave it in the comment section down below. And I will try my hardest to get to those uh, questions and get them answered. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.